doing today? Well, we're going to go into Walmart. We're going to find some more knives, and we're going to check them out. We're going to see which ones are sharp, which ones are good. We're going to do some reviews. Two, three, four, five, six knives. I don't know, maybe seven knives. This is Brad Buck from SharpensBest.com. Talk to you later. We're gonna do this, you know that, don't you? First, we probably better get out of the way from that car, they'll run over us, and then there ain't gonna be no more videos. Yeah, there will be, there'll be a hospital video. Where's Mary Christmas? Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Ring that bell loud enough, people can actually hear you. Tell them, Merry Christmas. There you go. Knives, that's what we're here for. Knives, 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 knives. I, I like that one. Uh, I like that one. Uh, let's do razor blades. Chef feel. Oh, that's expensive. That's five dollars. Okay, yeah, that's kind. Of, that's close enough to pink. You know what? I got a special lady that I want to give that one to. And she'll probably go, ah, pink? I'm an outdoorsman. I don't need pink, but she's going to get it anyway. All right. One, two, three, four, five. All right. That's good looking nice, mo uh, knife, mossy oak. All right. Ready? Yep. Ready, willing, and able. Good luck, good choice. Huh? Yep. I'll help you. You might only have 45 years left. Funny money. Yep. The, yep, the government is the biggest counterfeiter on earth. If you think about it this way, we're, we're 19 trillion dollars in the red. It's all funny money. So we got five different types of knives and things. We're gonna go and test them and see how they work. Talk to you later. Uh, went into Walmart, bought some more knives. We're gonna do some tests and uh, see how they are. See how they are for sharp. Do a little review on them. Show you the packaging, show you the knife. Uh, check it for sharp and then put a little sharp on it. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Take care, have a good day. All right, got back to Walmart, let's test them. Uh, we've got a bunch of knives in here. We got one here. Uh, okay, this is clip knife, uh, pink uh, color, and we have a uh, oh, a wood uh, flip opening knife. Okay, flip open. All right, and um, yeah, they look to be about two and three quarters of an inch. Okay, we got kind of a blue turquoise uh, clip knife, Navajo uh, type knife, three inch uh, stainless steel blade four inch aluminum handle. Okay, um, let's see we have, okay we got a two pack, these are razor knives, uh, folding locking razor knives. Uh, it's a two piece folding lock blade utility knife set. So we're gonna try those. And um, then we got, uh, oh we got a two piece set here. <clears throat> it's called a mossy oak, so you have a, like a Leatherman sort of a tool here, uh, maybe four or five tools in one, pliers cutters, pocket knife, a couple screwdrivers in there, some stuff like that. Then you have a pocket knife here, uh, their brand name, uh, Mossy Oak. Okay, it's a uh, two-pack multi-tool knife set, stainless steel blade, rubberized handle. So evidently the orange is kind of a rubberized. And um, so we'll save this one to last. We're just gonna do uh, um, 
Okay, we don't have anything else in there, so I'm gonna set this one down. And I don't know, let's go, this is kind of a pretty knife. Um, I gotta get a knife out of my pocket to open the knives up with. Uh, not a very big knife. Come on, please. All right, what is the deal? Oh, there it is right there. Can't hardly tell it from a sharpener, tell you the truth. Um, and I've always got sharpeners in my pockets. So let's just go ahead and get this cut open. Uh, poke it in along here, go out along there. Turn it a little bit, open it up, stop cutting, tear it open. Okay, they ship it with a protector on the tip. That's good, uh, you know, just helps keep from poking through the packaging and stuff like that. So we take the little rubber tip off. And uh, first of all, we see that it closes good. You can hear it snap into place, the lock, so that's good. It's pretty, you know, substantial knife. Um, has a little bit of weight to it, looks pretty good. So let's check and see. How it cuts not bad but you have to kind of slow down and and wait for it I listen to it I look for the chafing on the paper and stuff like that you know I think I give it a thumbs up uh, you know just for right out of the package uh, looks pretty good it's kind of well ground it isn't uh, bad on the tip a lot of them they, they the way they grind them they'll have it so darn thick at the tip that it's uh, not gonna cut that's got the clip on the side for your pocket so Let's, uh, I don't know, let's take the little round one here. Put the knife uh, on my leg, which is something that I like to do. Just like that, and then we're just gonna match the bevel like this, which is about a 12, 14 degree angle. I don't know if you can see it, it'll turn around like that. And then we're just gonna turn a little bit. We try to keep it turned a little bit this way, this way, not 90 degrees all the time. It'll fall in the hole, come out, and make the nick worse. If it's angled like this, then the uh, nicks get better if they go away. So just like this, right on around. And you know, I uh, I was talking uh, with a guy, and uh, he's a musician actually. Actually, I wasn't talking to him physically, talking on the the emails and stuff, and and on my website. And then he has a, uh, a timekeeper. Okay, clicks back and forth, and he actually was setting it, I guess, to the touches, the clicks. Okay, and I, I've been saying I'm like 90 touches a minute. Okay, it's it's 240 to 300 clicks a minute. So if you may not be able to sharpen as fast as I am, we I just kind of figured this out because I never really thought about it. Um, you know, I'm touching it, uh, let's say over 200, 240 to 300 times a minute. So obviously uh, I'm almost one continuous, you know, movement on the knife. And that's why a lot of people I get, you know, I, I, around my table at the shows, they'll say, you got to slow down. It's all just a blur, you know. So I slow down a little bit and, and uh, show them. But, all right, let's see. It's going to take just a little bit more. That's actually pretty smooth once you get going. So we'll touch it. Uh, I can see actually little, little tiny flat spots on the blade. So they actually, when they, when they ground it, they didn't really get to the absolute center. It's close, but it, you know, when you turn it over and then you, you grind it that way, you grind it this way. So let's brush just a little bit more. And the very light touch that I just did to it uh, didn't uh, take it all the way to the center. It takes just a little while, especially if you're not touching more than about a sixteenth of an ounce of pressure. So let's see if that little bit of help made a difference oh yeah oh yeah okay uh, let's get on with the other knives that worked out really well that worked I like that I'm proud of that one uh, I don't know let's go with this one next and yeah, we'll slice it along the back here in through the plastic run it down along there Oop going around a little ways and no I'm not cutting towards myself for all you guys it's not a good idea to cut towards yourself but in this situation and stuff and being careful uh, I don't see I, I didn't cut towards myself but I don't see too much problem with it sometimes okay that's okay that knife is duller than the first one that I just demoed and I think I dropped that one on the floor Ground. Okay, so this time it's going to be the rectangle. Again, we match the bevel about like that. We turn it and we brush out that way. Okay, this has got a wood grain 
uh, looking handle on it. Again, it has the center lock spring. Open it up, snaps into place. It's a good solid lock. It's good solid there. Uh, you know, the weight of the knife is nice. It's got the thumb open, little bar on it like that. Give it a flick and there it is. Uh, two and three quarter inch blade, something like that. And uh, so let's drop that down there. Got to work on the uh, blade just like this. Don't press too hard. Somewhere's in the neighborhood of an eighth of an ounce of pressure. All I'm really doing right now is I'm tuning it up. Some people might say, here, sharpen my knife. If it's sharper when I'm done than when I started, then yeah, I sharpened the knife. Um, but I like to call this more of a tune-up because the knife was reasonably sharp, brand new, and just at least reasonably sharp. Let's see if that very short time... <laughs> You just gotta love it. All right, there's that one. And uh, we'll go to the pink one here. Kind of like gutting a fish, you get it in the right place and, it, and slide it along through the plastic underneath there. Pull it apart. Packaging's pretty tough. I imagine they spent a little time trying to figure out how to get just the right plastic and the right cardboard and everything else so it, you can't just peel them out of the wrapping in the store and snitch them. Okay, this is uh, basically the same kind of knives. It's It's got a little weight to it. It's pretty good. There's a lot of steel in it. Um, it's got the center locking device. Uh, this one is a thumb open. Give it a flick. It locks in good. It's about two and three quarters of an inch. A lot along the same lines of those other knives. So let's just go check. I like the knife. It feels good. Um, again, it has the clip on there so you can put it uh, in your pocket clip to your pants. All right. Oop, that didn't catch. Okay, this one here is duller right, right there. Okay, well, let's use the sharpened spark this time. I'll just stay up here like this, like that, like this, like that. Now we're going to flip it back and forth. Don't blink because I'm about to stop. Let's see if that very short time, oh yeah. You just gotta love these sharpeners. Tease it along. Very short time, if you know what you're doing, once you get, once you get proficient at my sharpeners, match the bevel, okay, 12 to 14 degrees, turn it a little bit, don't put your finger up here. You're never going to do that. Please don't do that. You're going to cut yourself somehow. Okay. If it balances, tuck it in. Put your thumb up here. The point is going to be on your hand, hand a little bit. Your middle finger there. Fingers across here. All right. And just like this. I can roll it and come back this way. I can go out that way. I can roll it. I can roll it back and forth like this. Go out there. Roll it back and forth at the tip. Light, 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 light. And then brush one direction, flip the knife every pass, polish the blade, take the wire edge off the blade. I'm just touching it basically as light as I can. You know, poundage, I don't know, eighth of an ounce, sixteenth of an ounce of pressure. It just gets sharper. Okay, I like that knife. I know where that knife's gonna go. Got a plan for that knife. All right, so now we got these two. We've got the uh, two-piece uh, utility knife, razor knives. Um, they're like a pocket knife uh, in, in design, as in they fold up, uh, and then they have the replaceable razor blade. So let's go ahead and open them up. You know, you can get a lot of good stuff at Walmart. I, I don't run Walmart down too much. And as far as China, you know, okay, I do like American made, that, that's a fact. But if you have the right specs, right conditions, the right, the, the right metal are made the right way, uh, you get what you pay for. You pay for a little higher end, you get a, a, a pretty good product, even if it's from China. Um, I believe in free market. I don't believe in unfree trade. Um, don't want to go too deep into this, but, um, you know, we do get some pretty good product, uh, you know, that way. And uh, so let's go ahead and get this cut open and see. I got to get under the blades, under the knife. Go right on around, and this time I'm going to come back in that way. Take one of them out. 
how to make cars out of this stuff. <laughs> that stuff is tough. Okay, so again, we have the little point protector uh, on there. And um, this is a plastic handle, it's not metal. Uh, just looking at it, maybe you pull that back, okay. And it, it does snap in there, okay. It's not locked in there, but you'd never just get that out of there, all right. Um, so you open it up, it snaps into place. It is a razor blade. Uh, press here, okay, take the razor blade out, turn it over, put it back in there. Actually, I like this, like that. Pull it out to where it locks back in. That's actually very simple. That's a good, you know. That might be a pretty good knife. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. I listen to it. I hear it. It cut. Oops! It cuts pretty good. Okay, right there again. You kind of have to help it just a smidge. So this time, I'm going to tune it up. With just I mean, really light, just like this. It's brand new. Okay, yeah, would it cut paper, string, boxes, tape? Absolutely. But, I, I don't know. Let's just see if I can make a noticeable difference in a razor blade that's brand spanking new. Absolutely. Quieter. Smoother. All right. Anyway, if it isn't actually sharper, if it's new, you use it tune it up, keep it, you don't break the blade. Why not use the blade two or three, four months? Just asking, I think it's a good deal. Okay, there's the small one. Let's look at the uh, little bit bigger one here. All right, uh, plastic, a little bit, I, it's a little heavier than that one uh, on the handle. You do have what looks to be maybe aluminum. I, I don't know, that's heavy enough. That's probably steel uh, out there. And so as far as changing it, uh, it says extremely sharp blade. Be careful. Genius. Sure genius. Um, oh, that's the lock. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. The, uh, the opener is how you take the razor blade. That's pretty cool. I like that. Dual purpose. Okay, there's your razor blade. You turn it around. You put it back in there like this. Okay. Or pull it out. Extend it. No, it's just a one position. All right. Let's uh, put it back together for a second. That snaps in there pretty good. I think that would be good. It's got a clip on here so you can just put it on the side of your pants, your pocket, things like that. All right, let's do this right quick like. Okay, that's actually, that's actually better than the other one. All right, so I'm listening to it, watching how it slices. Not positive I can make it better, but if I don't make it worse by touching it up, obviously I've got it figured out how to sharpen it and I can do tune-ups on the razor blade. Don't let your razor blade get completely dull before you take after it. Why not just tune it up a little bit? After all, that little sharpener's right in your pocket. But just like this, like that. Now we're going to touch it real light. Just like that. And let's see. I think it's about the same. At any rate, I didn't dull it, so I did sharpen it, you know, uh, and um, it is working well that way. Okay, so let's hurry up and uh, get into this one, the two-pack. Uh, we go to Walmart, we buy things, we go do a little demo on them, look them over, kind of inspect them, tell you what I see, you know, what I like, don't like, maybe. Um, <laughs> after you get under the knife, it cuts re really well. All right. So just like that, take this one out, come over here, go right on around. There's that one. It does have a sheath that comes with it. So a little belt sheath. It's got the belt loop on the back right there. Put it on your belt. All right, it's by Mossy Oak. Mossy Oak. All right. Good little snap. Seems to be a pretty, you know, good, tough little sheath. Probably work well. Go to the knife first. Take the protective cap off of it. 
to probably two and three quarter three inch that's kind of a standard blade evidently uh, it does have kind of a rubberized handle I do like that if your hands are cold maybe you got fish guts fat tallow on them a uh, the little bit rubberized handle would be better probably than a slick uh, surface that's made out of metal um, this would be harder to hold on to than this one if your hands are cold maybe you got some fat fish tallow uh, you know things like that on your hands it does have the center lock that's pretty good stays in there pretty good it's got the thumb open give it a little flick it locks in good feels good in the hand uh, it's got a metal backbone there if you needed to you could run through these holes right here lace it to a stick and make a spear out of it for getting fish things like that self-defense uh, you know you had the right stick if you go after a hog sooner or later if you don't lose him completely you probably kill him um, have something to eat so let's see what we got here for sharp that's not bad I listen for sound see how easy it is to push through the paper stuff like that so we're going to tune this one up using uh, the long handle I call it the long handle this is one of the original almost the original design for handy sharp uh, 23 25 26 years ago brush right on around so match the bevel about like this I'll have to turn it this way maybe about a 12 to 14 degree angle turn it a little bit everything kind of just sets here like this don't do this I see people trying to do this that is just crazy in my opinion so we do this go right on around turn it over match the bevel turn it this way turn it that way you can come back this way towards the handle right there turn it back over and work your way out towards the tip do the same thing on this side if you really want to work on the tip of the blade just like this don't press too hard because it will cut just like that don't press too hard move right on out okay now let's touch it really really light I'm polishing the blade right now we're going to give it about 20 licks 10 on each side Make sure you flip it all the way over, all the way over like this. Don't stop up like that because you're going to take the edge off the blade. It won't ruin the edge. It's just going to barely, barely, uh, you know, damage the, the edge. No big deal. You can fix it easily. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. We're going to make it... Oh, yeah. Okay, it'll take the fingernail right off. Let's touch it again, just, just a little lighter. And see if we can polish that blade just a little finer. Now, to be absolutely honest with you, if you're out, and, uh, don't make your knives as sharp as you can possibly get them. They're gonna be too thin, they won't hold an edge. So right now, I'm just kind of playing with the knife, trying to show you the capability of the sharpeners and myself for making a good sharp knife. Um, I wouldn't make a knife out in the field any sharper than, than you've seen uh, the the first time I went after it. Okay, that's plenty sharp. Right out to the tip. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, you know what? Uh, I like this knife. That's my knife. I'm going to give, uh, I don't know, one of these to the cameraman. I think he likes this one right here. All right, he can have that one. All right, I know what I'm gonna do with this one. This goes to a special lady. This one's gonna to go to Amanda. This is a Christmas present. This is Brad, you take care. Have a good day. Merry Christmas from our family to yours. See you later.